Shalom Israel. My name is Afisa Kayar, one out of ISUPK Jamaica. ISUPK started One West, 125th Street, Harlem, New York. ISUPK is run by Commanding General Yahana. The one man with the rank and the authority to lead Israel at this time. I say, Ya Awa Basham, Ya Awa Shai Barakatam to my brothers. Ya Awa Shamar Alatan, Basham, Ya Awa Shai to my sisters. All right, so we all know the, the recent. You know what I mean? Happenings down at Kingston College. You know what I mean? One of my old alma maters. You know what I mean? And they're basically saying that children are the youth them who have them here at a certain height. Can't come sit them exam. Can't come inside the school. We're basically locked out. We can't relate to that. You know what I mean? And we can't relate to the hypocrisy surrounding that. You understand? And we have a touch upon a little personal experience. You understand? Which is clearly, it clearly shows you that this thing is a colonial, you know what I mean, oppressive thing. And it's only meant to oppress our people. You understand? But in the meanwhile, just like this video, subscribe to the channel and also leave your comments. You understand? So we have a play, you know what I mean? We have a play a little star snippet. You know what I mean? At the whole happenings. Then we have a read an article. And then we have a explain. We have a breakdown of personal experience. You understand? And as well, we have a read the history. You know what I mean? Of the cutting of the ears of the ear of our people. You understand? So without further ado, here's the little snippet. As you can see, the young men are outside of the school, right at the school gate. You know what I mean? I'm very familiar with that school gate right there you understand they are there and can't get inside because they are restricted from going inside the school because them have ear upon them head you understand look upon the youth them the youth them ear don't look untidy in any kind of way you understand so it can't be about grooming this thing cannot be about the youth them ear not being groomed let me play it again with the bigger screen you understand this cannot be about the youth them here being not groomed. You understand? Because as you can clearly see right there, the youth them here comb. You understand? Ex except for the one where we just see a while ago, film here look like it curly. You understand? But for the most part, it groom. You understand? The youth them here comb. It not too tall. You understand? Regular. I say, you know what I mean? Miniature Afro. Miniature. You know what I mean? You can't call them thing they are Afro. It's like, a, you know what I mean? Like your, your trim and your ear start to grow back and it reach a certain level. You understand? All right. But, as I say, it cannot be about grooming because the man them ear not untidy in any kind of way. So what is this really about? See? All right. We will jump in at the article, one Gleaner article, just to read and give you the whole, you know what I mean, report. The official report upon the happenings, you know what I mean? So it's a KC student turn away over grooming. Remember, I you know, we just pointed out that the youth them here don't look untidy none at all. You understand? Several students at Kingston College were barred from entering the compound this morning as they were deemed not properly groomed. You understand? The exercise started as early as 7.30 a.m., which is when school is supposed to start. And as students arrived for school, they were told that they will not be admitted. The action left the barred student upset. The majority of students were told that their hairstyle were deemed improper or not fit for the classroom. Sir, at the last week of school, we have exams next week. This is not right. The government says that they must not turn us out. And this is what they are doing. A grade 11 student told the Gleaner. You understand? Some of the boys remained at the gate while others went home. This completely goes against what the Ministry of Education says. Most of these students are preparing for CXCs. If anything happened to any of these boys, it will be on KC. A disgruntled parent told the Gleaner. You know what I mean? Which is right. All right. So it said they are not properly groomed. But as we pointed out earlier, 
the, the youth them here don't look untidy. So what do they consider properly groomed? Properly groomed mean you have to cut off all of your ear. You understand? All right. To my personal experience now, Zin. All right. While attending KC, we all used to, you know what I mean, grow our ear, tie it down with a do-rag so that when the summer or the holidays come, we can cane row our ear. You understand? I just saw we do it. Learning today that cane rowing our ear is, you know what I mean, regular Israelite custom. But we never know that them time there. We just want cane row our ear. We are doing it for the girls, them, see? We have to tie it down with the do-rag, pat it down, make it look like it not all. For hide it from the teachers and, you know what I mean, other members of staff, right? There was this white boy in the school, Matthew. You understand? He was never harassed. You understand? No one approached him about the length of his ear. He always wear his ear tall. You know what I mean? Well tall. Nobody approached him about it. You understand? This, 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 he, his family was wealthy as well. You know what I mean? Obviously. You understand? And more while him riding in the school panala bike, one of them racing bike there, brawling, hear a blowing at the wind. You know what I mean? Like him rule the school. See him KC me, I tell you about. You understand? But the point to me, I make, we had to hide the length of our ear while this white boy, Matthew, never did. So that's why we are showing you say, it is all prejudice. But we're going to show you where the whole of that come from. You understand? All right. So now we go over to this Wikipedia article. We basically tell you where the cutting of our ear came from. Zin, it says, ear during slavery and historical view of Afro texture ear. Let me read. Because North America indigenous population was being decimated by Europeans, colonists, extreme labor condition, insufficient diet, violence, and disease, British European began forcibly transporting Africans to, Brit to British North America in the early, in early 1600s. All right, so them say, them start shipping Africans. We know that, you know, Africa is a continent. There's many different groups of different tribes in Africa. You know what I mean? Who they ship cross over here are the Hebrew Israelites. Let me continue reading. Before transporting them, captors and traders shaved the heads of all so-called Africans, adult and children taken captive. The, the claim purpose for this, this is, and, and, and bear in mind, it, it, it emphasized claimed. The claimed purpose for this action was to prepare for the unsanitary conditions of the slave ship which is bullcrap because we know that in the slave ship, there was no means to provide any kind of sanitary environment. People lay on top of people. Um, women who were seeing their period were having seen their period right on top of other people. You know what I mean? People were defecating, urinating on each other. So cutting off one ear wouldn't even make a difference. Let me continue reading. Because of the culture and spiritual importance of ear for Africans, so-called, the practice of having their head involuntarily shaved before being sold as enslaved people was in itself a dehumanizing act. You understand? So basically it was to dehumanize, dehumanize us, right? Let me continue reading. This is the meat of the matter now. The shaved head was the first step the Europeans took to erase the slaves' culture and also the relationship between the so-called African and his or her ear. Strip them of a lifeline to their home and a connection to their people. Their language was taken away and they were unable to identify with others from their tribe. Right, so that was the purpose of cutting our ear. And it is still being practiced today. You understand? The cutting of our ear is to, you know what I mean, dehumanize us and to never, never make us get any sense of pride concerning our ear. You understand? They took our language, you know, which is the Hebrew language. And now the last thing we have left, we, are, we have lost our culture completely because of slavery. The last thing we have left is our identity, which is our ear and our physical appearance. And they want to take that from us. 
same Britain, you know what I mean, which runs the Anglican Church, which KC is an Anglican institution. Now you understand why it is so important for us to always have a cut with ear in order to remain admitted in this institution. You know what I mean? It, it has nothing to do with education. Any sensible person knows that whether you have ear for your head or not, you can either fail or do well in school. Just the same. You understand? And some people are saying, well, rule is rule, but where did the rule come from? And who does this rule apply to? And who does it not? You understand? All right, so we're going to jump over to some scripture now. You know what I mean? We're going to jump to the book of Slack here. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 27. See? And it says, Ye shall not round the corners of your head, neither shalt thou mar the corners of thy beard. Right. So, the Most High gave the children of in, um, Israel instructions that they should not mar, mar the corner of their beard or to round the corner of their head. You understand? That is the line of thing we come with trimming our ear. You understand? Them force us to break the Most High's commandment. Let me jump to another scripture. This is the book of... Um, the book of Leviticus 21 and verse 5, right? And it says, They shall not make baldness upon their head, neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard, nor make any cutting in their flesh, right? So it's telling you the same thing. No baldness for your head, nor mar the corners of your beard. You know what I mean? The Most High never want us to do these things because, you know what I mean, those were the customers of the Egyptians. But our slave master, Force this on us to take away our identity. And when it says, nor make any cutting in their flesh, you can relate that to, you know what I mean, the tattoos and all them things that our people are forced to do now because we don't have our culture. This was stripped from us during slavery and is continuing to be stripped from us by these institutions. And with that, I say like this video, subscribe to this channel, Leave your comments. Tell me what you think. Do, do you think this is an unfair act by the Kingston College organization? You know what I mean? Let me know in the comment. And with that, you know what I mean? We keep classes on Sunday, um, Tuesdays at 7 p.m., Wednesday 7 p.m., and Sunday it's at, it's at 3 p.m. So subscribe to this channel so you get the notification when we go live, all right? And with that, shalom.